Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some Anthem live streaming like I promised. The game has just been re-released on the Origin platform um, today. So you can use the demo if you do have Origin, just download it. I think you may need to have Origin access actually, that's something you may need to be signed up to before you can have access to the demo, but um, if not, then you should be able to use it now as it did go live today so hopefully they squashed a few bugs that were in the first demo release and um, they still have an issue with the game being forcing you to be in HDR mode if you play in full screen and you've got a HDR monitor like myself it just forces the game into HDR mode there's no way around it so I'm playing in borderless mode at the moment at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 um, LED Gamer says, is the performance any better? Um, I don't know yet. I'm about to get into my first game, so let's hope so. Fortunately, I can't use full screen mode because um, it just forces HDR, so I'm using borderless full screen, which is not too bad, to be honest. Uh, this time, I'm going to play, because the game is so demanding, I'll be playing without anti-aliasing. And I'll also, because a lot of you guys were moaning last time, I'm going to disable motion blur, so let's see if uh, this pleases everyone. Anyway, so let's just jump into the demo. Let me just put my on-screen display on. Just make sure I haven't got V-Sync on, because it's just locked at 60. I do have my G-Sync on, actually. So the game may be locked at 60 due to that. Uh, I'd have to disable G-Sync if that's the case. Let's see if it can exceed 60 frames. Yeah, guys, I've got G-Sync on at the moment. So let me see if I can disable that somehow. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the stream. G-Sync is uh, just keeping it locked at 60. So I'm gonna just now. Hopefully it doesn't destroy the stream. <laughs> if it does, I'll start a new one. Let's see now. Hmm. Still doesn't change anything. Okay, let's just get outside and see what happens. Amir Abd, Abd Al Karim says, Hi, dude, watching from Iraq. How you doing, man? Glad to see YouTube's connecting people all over the planet. Ah, oh, this looks horrible now. I may have to re enable G Sync, it was making it way more smooth. Now it's not even that smooth. For some reason, the game seems to be locked at 60 frames, even though I've disabled V Sync and I've disabled G Sync, which is, pretty, is a bit strange. But uh, never mind, I just want to get back into my javelin and let's get on with the game. Hopefully the stream is clear for you guys. I am streaming at 1440p um, at 60fps, so very very high quality. And hopefully it's coming through, okay. So Chedi... Um, says yeah i'm from south africa yeah so it's just good to see all people from everywhere just getting involved that's what i like to see so this is a game i'm interested in i mean a lot of people uh, are giving it stick and rightly so it's not perfect it's not for everyone but when is every game for everyone that's why we have choice but i think right now it's just uh generally i think it's a, just a bad time to be a developer if, if you ask me like it's so hard to please people. It just seems that no matter what they do, there's going to be criticism. But I guess EA have kind of brought that up upon themselves with, you know, the loot crate fiasco and just general microtransaction gimmicks. Um, it's not the best way to go about producing games these days. So I understand why they get so much backlash, but I tend to actually like Bioware. Um, I like their game, so I'm not going to give them too much stick. I'm interested in this game. I probably will buy it as well. So let's just see how the demo performs. Hopefully it's not, not locked to 60, but even if it is, it's not going to be a big deal because a locked 60 is not a bad, not a bad thing. So for me, the game looks good. I know it's not exactly as good as the uh, E3 release. 
it is a bit downgraded but it still looks amazing in my opinion oh got something trying to attack me already this thing is powerful as hell let's try and run a let's run around it and see if i can uh attack it from behind I knew I was coming. Just gonna try and counter it every time. There's another one over there as well. There's a few guys here. I've just jumped into free place. So I'm not even doing a mission right now. But yeah, doing around 52 to 56 frames per second, around about that. With a mildly overclocked. GTX, I mean RTX 2080 Ti. Man, there is a lot of enemies spawning in here. This is probably not a very safe place for me to be. I'm not going to back down. See if I can hold my hold my ground and uh, get a victory here. I'm just going to collect some ammo because I'm running low. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Yeah, I need to go and heal up for a bit. So I'm just gonna stay out of harm's way. Whoa. There's a lot coming my way. I really need this ultimate attack very, very quickly. Guy's got a shield. I mean, I like these the mech exoskeleton, what they call the javelin. I actually like um, the way they've gone about it. I think it's like a very cool kind of bit of kit. I mean, I, I was a big Gundam Wing fan, so this is like nowhere near close to it. But and I liked also. What was that game on PlayStation 2? With the kind of mobile suit. I forgot what it was called now. Zona Vendors? Yeah. Feels a bit like that as well. So I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. So this guy's joined my team, I believe. Can he help me out? Let's just try and find a mission or something. Let's go over to him. Yeah, I promise I'll get the hang of this flying thing at some point. What is this guy doing? He's just healing up. Okay. See if they've extended the demo. I wonder if you can fly further away now. Nope, I'll go that I think way. We found one of the signals, but we need to get rid of the Dominion security around it. I'll get this decrypted as quickly as possible. Okay, so I've got a. Uh, I've got an objective to go to now. More guys to kill. Mountain to Karif. Challenge complete. I don't even remember taking the challenge on, but I guess we've somehow completed it. Guys are easy work. Sending you the location of another Dominion camp. Damn, I'm losing health. I needed that. Sorry guys, I'll read the comments as soon as I get a chance and seem to clear all of these hostiles. Okay, so Gamer Booze Konak, Kunak says, hey bro, um, Nelly D Gamer says, seems about the same. Yeah, the performance does seem about the same. 
Where is the objective, guys? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so we gotta go over here for something. I'm not even too sure what I'm looking for. More enemies there. Damn. I break through the ice. All right, finally free. Same as Abby says, how are you? I'm pretty good. Man, it keeps turning me into ice. That's one of these uh, abilities of these creatures, making us freeze you. Still trying to get used to these mechanics. I swear that thing just disappeared into the wall. Performance isn't the best. It's just sitting below 60 frames, but it's not the worst either, so I'm not going to complain too much. Wow, there's just enemies everywhere. Collect some health and armor. I'm going to use my ultimate attack in a moment because the amount of things I'm killing, I could have saved up two of them by now. I need to save on the ammo. See what I'm saying? Things do vanish, so they have still got quite a few bugs in the game. Um, Gamer Booze Canalk says, uh, what do I think about the textures in the game? I think it's okay. In some areas, some some areas don't look the best, some look okay. Let's go over here. Well, there was a waypoint a minute ago, it seems to have disappeared. I'm just going to wait and follow everyone else. Um, Kenny T9 says, is DX12 available for better FPS? Not at the moment. I would have imagine maybe in a game's final release. It may be a DirectX 12 implementation, whether or not um, I see that as a positive, um, we'll see, because DirectX 12 has been very, very disappointing. I'm not too sure what's going on here. It said something about leaving mission area, and now we're loading for some reason, so maybe the server's crashed or got kicked out or something, we'll see. But yeah, there's a lot, of, there's a few bugs going on. I mean, I saw one or two enemies just literally disappearing before my eyes, so... I'm just going to join these guys. May as well use my ultimate. Uh, here goes the fireworks. I am losing so much health. Yeah, I got my ass kicked very, very quickly. Hopefully someone will come and help me respawn. I guess not. So I'm just going to have to wait until... I get respawned in and join the fight again. Uh, Gamer Booze says, Are you excited for Metro Exodus? Um, I am indeed. I've played all the other Metros last night. I've played um, the original one, of course, Metro. And um, I like the game. I like the series. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, what the story is like. Because it is based off a book, apparently. I haven't took the time to look into it. Um... I wish someone would just come and help me out, but I guess no one wants to. So I'm not too sure what happens here. Do I stay in this position until everyone from the team dies? Or does someone, does the game just allow me to respawn eventually? Uh, Young Khalid says, it's not looking like the E3 demo. Uh, like the E3 demo did. I mean, few games look like they do on E3. That's... You know, I know it's not. I know it's not the best thing to do, but 
you know, it's an opportunity when the world's watching to sell your game to, to build hype. So they will inflate the final product at that point. And, you know, we've seen it so many times, the division. Uh, we saw it with, obviously, um, what's it called? Anthem now. We've seen it with so many games. Probably the only game I would say has been consistent would be Grand Theft Auto V. Red Dead Redemption was pretty consistent with what the final product looked like. So, yeah. Um, see if there's anything I can do from the menu. Doesn't seem like there's much I can do. Like, I'm literally just here, stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck at, at this point of the game. No one's respawning me. See, look, see my teammate over there, Yolo, Yolo Mecha? He's in the same position I am. So what I may have to do is how I get back to the main menu and then start again, because I think uh, this is, I will have to chalk this down to another bug. So let's go back to the main menu and uh, start again, because that's clearly a glitch. There's so many glitches I need to iron out on this. Hit. It's not a great start, to be honest. It's not a great start. Let's start again, shall we? Honestly, I think, um, given this next expedition, do you want to rejoin the expedition? Yeah, why not? And hopefully, I'll be alive this time. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was pretty good. I really, really enjoyed that game, to be honest. And uh, let's see if uh, the Division 2 is good. So that's another game I'm looking forward to. Top Vine says, how's it going, man? I'm pretty good, pretty good. Just waiting for this damn game to load it. It does have some of the longest loading screens I've ever seen, and I've got this installed to an SSD, and uh, it still takes very, very long, so. There's not much I can do about that, guys. All right, so I'm back. Look, he's still in the same position, so I'm gonna try and help him. I'm gonna try and help my teammate first. Feel bad for him, he's just stuck in that position. I don't know where he is there. Wow. Oh damn. Wow, we should we really shouldn't be doing this mission. If they're that strong, I think we've just bit off a lot more than we can chew. So, um, Literally, I was alive for like what 10 seconds before getting killed, which is just crazy. So, obviously, these enemies are way overpowered, <laughs> and that's why we probably got our asses kicked. So, I'm gonna give it a chance to try and respawn, I'll give it about 20 to 30 seconds. If it doesn't do it, I'm just gonna do it myself. So, yeah, this is not the best presentation by the way it has to be said like the game clearly has some issues um you can't respawn when you die you're just stuck there you're putting us in positions where enemies are way overpowered and you're just overmatched too early there should be like areas that kind of warn you that you're in a, a level where you could not survivor it's dangerous to be here there's no warning or anything like that but yeah again it's just uh trying to respawn and nothing's happening so what i'm going to do is go back to the main menu again and uh just start start again and just, this time when it asks me do i want to join uh, the expedition i'm just going to say no uh so dimitri glas uh glasau Ace Combat is also released today. Um, 
and it's worse than an worse than an video at the moment. Samuel Du says you start at level ten, so skips a lot, including the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, they got some work to do on this game, clearly. I don't see how you can just re release a demo with all these kind of issues. Like, what is going on with the quality control? Like, you can't just release something like this. No, I don't want to join the expedition. I was going to start something new, if that's okay. Yeah, there's quite a few issues. I mean, basically, when you die, you can't respawn, from what I've seen so far. Um, that wasn't an issue the first time I played it. The first time I died, um, it respawned fine. This time it's not. So I'm not too sure what's going on. So yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to make sense of the game, to be honest. And the loading screens are way too long. At least they've given you a little bar at the top to kind of let you know how long you've got left. So we're about 65% in. Or someone else's teammate alive, no response. Is that right? Um, Samuel Dude says, as long as you've got a teammate alive, you will not respawn. So then, why have the countdown? It says, uh, respawning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then nothing happens. But that was the case, it shouldn't do that. It. It's a bit misleading, don't you think? Lucas Molka says, is your GP overclocked by MSI overclock? scanner no i just manually did this I, and this is just like my live stream overclock this is like a very very mild overclock um when i'm gaming normally i got something a bit more serious but live streaming i kind of just like to take it easy just in case something happens i'd rather have a stable stream than a really really overclocked gpu I am RTX 2060. Why on earth would I want to do something like that? <laughs> anyway, let's just get into this javelin and get back out into this world. Let's try and avoid enemies that are a bit too powerful. Can I reach 60 FPS in Q at Quad HD with GTX 1070 Ti? I doubt it. This game is demanding as hell. Let's just wait for the benchmarks to come out. People like Guru 3D, um, hardware and boxed, and guys like that will do. We'll do some um, benchmarks, and then we'll kind of work out what the GPUs are doing. I would imagine the only guys, the only GPUs that can do 60 at 1440p will probably you'll need like a GTX 1080 and above. Probably that's that's in my opinion. That's what from what I've seen. That's probably what it will be. But we'll have to see. Anyway, loading another. Um, that's a free play, so I can just go around and mess around, but this time I'll try and avoid very, very strong enemies or just keep uh, an eye on my health a bit more. Even the flying mechanics or the javelin are a bit wonky because you can tell the game was made to be played with a controller for the most part, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. So, Od OD1's Odysseys. Is it worth upgrading from a GTX 1050 2 gigabyte to RX 570 4 gigabyte? I can get it for 120 euros. It's enough. Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey Origins Battlefield 60 FPS. I have Ryzen uh, 5 2600. I'll have to look into it. By the way, I don't really look at the low low end um, stuff to be honest that much. Um, so I'm not too sure what's better. I would imagine the RX 570 is faster than the GTX 1050 but you never know so sounds like a decent upgrade to me I wouldn't I'll would go for it just kill these little things Shoots this lightning at you. Luckily, it's not that strong. Got 
Vine says the RX 570 crushes the GTX 1050. There you go, you've heard it there. Crushes the GTX 1050. Sounds about right. The 1050 is quite entry level in my opinion. That's like the lowest of the stack. So the 570 should be a decent upgrade. Wow, my health has got so low just because of that. I almost died again. It's just crazy how easy it is to run into like overpowered guys on this. I promise I'll look for a mission or something just to make it a bit more interesting. But I just want to kind of practice and get used to this javelin a bit before I go into any real missions. So just give me a bit of time to warm up to the game and then I'll start doing some missions just to make it a bit more interesting for you guys. So again, let's try to understand that the game is at, in a demo at the moment, so things may change, but this has got to be pretty representative of the final product to an extent, because I mean the game is what, oh, two weeks away maybe? I don't even know when it comes out. So it's going to come out very soon. So there's a mission over here. Have dug in here. Situation's not good. Careful of the turrets, but let's make sure they can't shoot anyone else. Okay. Let's get some health back. I'll try and take out these turrets first. Man, I'm under some heavy fire right now. Wow, my shields are down. Just want to wait for my health to heal up a bit. Come on then, guys, what you got? Let's see what you guys have got. deal with these guys as quickly as I can. My ammo is pretty low. Oh man, it's just these goddamn turrets, man. Whoa. Did I die or something? What happened? I'm still alive. Um, Can't really pronounce your name, but it says you have two monitors because Sometimes you play at 16 by 9 or 21 by 9 or 30 or 40. Yeah, I do have two monitors. I actually have three. Um, I actually do have three monitors in a way. Two 4K monitors and uh, one ultra wide. And I am getting my ass kicked here. Just need to recover. Take out the take out the turrets one at a time. They're causing me a lot of a lot of damage. Come on, grab this health. Whoa. Struggling to survive here at the moment. Sorry guys, I'll get to your comments as much as I can, but... Fighting for my life here. cover from what the hell this guy is strong man I'm running out of places to take cover I'm gonna grab all of this ammo and health Crazy. <laughs> Just about escaped with my life there. God oh, damn, it's crazy. It's T 
too many of them over here. You really need to do this game in, with a teammate. I'm trying to do this as a lone wolf. It's not really working out too well for me. Yeah, I'm not great at the game, but at the same time, should it really be this hard? Like, I'm just ridiculously outnumbered. Those turrets are going to take a hell of a lot of time to kill. So, for the meantime, i just got to take out these guys. And doing that is proving pretty challenging. It's like I'm just getting attacked at all angles. By, like, overpowered bloody bosses. Sorry guys, I will get to your comments as soon as I can. I'm just in a bit of a situation where I'd rather not die right now. It's not like I'm ignoring you or anything, it's just that. Trying to survive. Whoa. Let me try and grab that health. Okay. Let's try and take out these guys. Whoa. These guys are so overpowered, it's just, it's not even fair, to be honest. I can barely keep half of my health. I'm gonna have to take them out one at a time. Scott, you've been causing me a lot of trouble, so I just want to kill this person. Finally. One down. Okay, let's tuck his shell straight down. Let's end you now, shall we? What did bullet sponge run? How many shots can you take to your head? Trying to take out the turret by range is not really working out so well. Probably gonna run out of ammo from here. Probably should get closer. Maybe use some melee attacks. want to take out one turret at a time so I just need to focus on this one literally like as soon as I come up it's getting my ass handed to me oh okay got taken down that's far too much for me on my own I really need some help at least this time I was able to respawn, which is good. Uh, so look at some comments now. One hundred, one thousand subs says without vids. Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> Don't know what this guy is on about. I'm just gonna start picking and choosing what comments I read now, rather than just read everything I see. Because some of it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's see if there's any missions on my HUD. So you can like slightly evade in the air. I 
really want to complete that mission, but I need some help. If anyone is got Origin, I don't know if the LED game is still there. Um, you got me an Origin. Why don't you join up? Let's try and beat some missions together or something. Go this way. See how high you can go. Can't go too high. Go high enough to. These guys are more my level. This game does seem to have quite a weird motion blur. Even though I've disabled motion blur, it does seems to be available. Anyway, Amir Abd Al Karim says, when will Nvidia release DLSS? <laughs> they haven't released, as far as I'm aware, DLSS is only available for Final Fantasy 15 in a beta form right now. Still waiting for DLSS on Battlefield 5. Still waiting on RTX features for a lot of games that were promised. I remember the presentation. They said later had like 40 games lined up to support RTX features, and so far it's just been it's been a shambles to be honest. It hasn't been it hasn't been great. It's like developers can't be bothered to implement the technology. Maybe they think it's not worth it, or it's just too much work. Something's obviously not right because uh. Nvidia can't get anyone to put it in their games. Metro Last Light, I mean the new Metro Exodus is meant to have some DLSS or RTX features, so ray tracing as well, so we'll see. They always say they will, so let's see if they have it at launch. We've got a couple guys over here. So if all the battles were like this I'd have a better chance of surviving but it's just ridiculously like um, unfair for most of the time. I really need a better weapon. This gun's terrible. Let's see what you guys have got. I seem to be dealing with you guys fairly comfortably. Dead but still standing up. That doesn't make any sense. Um, disappeared now, so it's bugs all around. Finally, I've got an ally with me. Well, these are all allies. These guys see where they're going. Okay. 
Nice combo. Where are you guys going? So we've got to go over here. I want the best way to go this way. Just gonna follow my teammates. Man, this guy is strong. So I mean about just getting killed so easy. Very, very easy to die. Yeah, there's a lot more to go. And no thanks to you guys. You guys ain't really putting in any work. Just leaving me to get my ass kicked. Let's try and take down the shield. Whoa, that took a lot of damage. Whatever that was. I'll wait for my, my shield to at least charge up a bit. You wait too long, his shield charges up as well, so... Like a never-ending cycle. I just need to get enough health... ...to, uh... ...stand and fight. I'll try and flank him. Stay up here. See if I can get the drop on him. Yes. That's done it. All turrets are destroyed. Ah, another one. Had to make this difficult, didn't they? Oh, let's just kill this guy, man. Pain in the ass. Good work. Can't leave things like this. You've got to secure the area. Yeah, with a little help from my friends, we can do that. But I seem to be on my own now. Whoa! Who the hell keeps doing that? Man? I can't even see where that's coming from. Screw this. Not worth it. Yes, that's it. They're on the run now. I call that a job well done. I don't know what the hell you're talking about because I think we've earned some applause for that. Every time I look up, we're fighting this guy and he just won't die. I don't know where you're going with applause. Alright, I've got my ultimate now, so... Whoa. The mechanics of this game is a bit... A bit hit and miss. There you go, how do you think about that? Just need to get rid of that shield of his. Finally got rid of it. Alright, shield back on. Which means I pretty much have to run. that guy gone. I really just want to kill him. All i got to do is disable his shield one more time. That 
should be able to uh, uh, miss miserably there. His attacks are just ridiculously strong. Whoa, and now I'm stuck in ice. This is not good. Basically, just can't stand still against this guy at all. But keep moving. I know he's down. Oh my gosh, you know how long that took? Ridiculous. What was the whole point of this anyway? to get out of here. Yeah, this game is very demanding. It's a hell of a PC to play at 4K. I am playing at 4K though, so... There's that. I did overclock my GPU, but slightly. It's not my maximum overclock, but you know, unless you see RTX 2080 Ti's come out of the box at two gigahertz, it's definitely an overclocked GPU. It's very, very stressful, though. I mean, this is probably the only game that gets my GPU to 60 um, Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius. Right, let's see what's down here. I need to learn how to upgrade my weapons and stuff, so I'm going to go back to the main city. But surely I should be able to do something to my weapons, because my weapons are like really, really low level. That's probably why I suck at the moment. Like when I'm live streaming, I don't put really heavy overclock. This is like 80 megahertz on the core and just 500 to the memory, which is pretty low. See if you can go down here now. Nope. More hostiles. Who are they shooting at? Take down this guy's shield and just finish him with my ultimate. Easy work. Let's just explore as far as we can go. There's nothing down here anymore. Far too slow. See what I mean? Like enemies just disappear. Man, this game's got so many bugs. Um, can you overclock memory to 800 megahertz? 8,000 megahertz? Yes, I can. But 
right now I'm just not going to. I've got plenty of videos with my graphics card at 80,000 megahertz in terms of memory speed. So I'm gonna try and do a mission now. This is a lot of free play. Wow, it's ridiculously bright over here. Should really put my phone on silent. Um, I can show you guys the settings now if you're interested. Let me just disable my on-screen display. May as well just show you for all the benefit of all the new viewers. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160. I'm using borderless full screen mode. The reason is if I put it to full screen mode, it just forces HDR mode on because I've got a HDR monitor. They've got no other way of turning it off. So that's something that's annoying. Um, I've disabled to turn off anti-aliasing. Ambient occlusion is at full. I could probably put that down to just HBAO. See if that saves a few frames. And everything else is left at ultra. So let's see how these settings get on. That's probably as much as I'm willing to drop the settings. See my flying is uh, terrible at the moment. Where does this lead to? There's someone over there. like a cave over here or something. No. I, I, if of course there's a, I'm not going to say that, it says what up. HDR is good in some games, it's not good in all games though, some games it doesn't even look that good. I think HDR can be a bit overrated in some aspects, um, sometimes single definition can look, look better. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you're flying and you go for a waterfall, it cools down your burner so you can like continue to fly. So well, that's interesting. Okay. I'm outside mission area now. really good looking game though, I'll give it that, it's just, um, I don't know, there's not much going on is there, I need to find a mission, so I'm not going to criticise it too much, I'm not exactly playing it the way you should be, let's try and find something to do, what's over here, the headless hollow, outside mission boundary returning to your team in one second, That's okay. Um, if, of course, there's family-friendly channel. <laughs> yeah. That and uh, YouTube are just cracking down on profanity. They don't like people swearing too much. You can swear once or twice. But if you keep swearing continuously, they don't like it. So um, I'm, I'm not one to swear too much anyway. Unless like I'm in an argument or I'm angry or something. Then, yeah, I'll do it. But apart from that, I'd rather just not do it. So apparently this was meant to bring me back to my team. I don't see where my team is. Let's have a look at the map. A wall. I wonder if I can like create a waypoint onto my my uh my teammate. So he's over there. So may as well 
catch up to him or just follow, see what he's doing. Where is he? He's just disappeared. He's over here now. I don't like talking about this fun stuff like jobs etc. No, I don't just don't like talking about my personal my personal life. <laughs> That's all. It's like, yeah, I run a gaming channel, but come on guys, let's just keep it let's stick to gaming. All you need to know is I work very hard, I work over forty hours a week. That allows me to buy hardware like the RTX twenty eighty Ti and the R9 k You guys need to understand I do YouTube as a hobby. This is just like fun for me. I don't need this to like survive or anything. I've never, when I started YouTube, um, it was never really my aim to like try and be, be a YouTuber or anything like that. This is just like literally fun for me. So, you know, if I was like someone that was taking it really, really seriously, then yeah, I'll probably like come on camera, I'll do like, do everything like all these other tech tubers, but nah man, not me, this is just like fun. And like, um, most of all, I value my privacy, so that's probably why I just don't. It's just not a good idea to just tell everyone your business, because like, get your identity stolen and all this other stuff. You know, it's not it's just not a very smart thing to do, in my opinion. Man, these guys are kicking my ass. They're not even that strong, that's the funny, that's the joke about it. So it's not like I'd, I'm trying to be like, you know, withhold information from you guys. There's nothing like that. Who knows? Maybe one day, like, if my channel grows to the level where I can actually do this as a job, then yeah, I've got no problem coming on camera and like being more forthcoming about who I am and things like that. But right now, this is just like fun. And, you know, I'll take my request from you guys seriously. Like if you want to see a specific game or you want to see specific tests, yeah, I'll definitely put a good amount of time into doing it, even though it's just a hobby, but like all the other stuff, no, nah, not right now, definitely not. How do you go back? I want to go back to the, um, you know, like the main city so I can like pick a mission just so uh, but it's a bit more interesting because right now I'm just running around like just doing nothing really. What's down here? Uh... Cosima Giola says you're a good streamer. I don't really think so, but thanks for the compliment. I'm learning learning as I go. I don't really stream much, so um, I'm kind of just getting used to it. But me, generally, I'll just speak my mind and I'll answer some questions when I can. And I'm just really just trying to share my experience with you guys. That's the main aim of my channel. Yes, I will do like tests here and there. But generally, it's my channel's all about sharing my experience with you. That's all it really is. There's nothing really more to it. Now, every minute it seems I'm reloading with this gun. Will you gain metrics of this from the Epic Store? It's exclusive to the Epic Store as far as I'm as far as from what I've heard, so yeah, I'll have to get it from there. I've got no problem with getting it. 
from the Epic Store, I'll buy the game wherever it, wherever they're selling it from. You know, I don't really mind as long as it works properly and the download doesn't take too long. I'll be okay. I've already got um, an Epic account anyway, so it's not a big deal. For me. But it is getting kind of ridiculous with the amount of um, services that we have. So we got Uplay for Ubisoft, we've got Origin for EA, we've got Steam, then we've got like um, GOG, but GOG is like DRM free, so i got no problem with GOG. Um, you know, we're just getting too many, too many services just to play a game. Then you've got Blizzard's Battle.net, and then you've got obviously the Epic Store. So that's like six or seven already. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Yeah, no, there's not much going on in this cave. LED Gamer says, I'm getting it from the Epic Store. Yeah, I think we've got no choice, actually. I think it's going to be exclusive to the Epic Store, so uh, there's not much we can do. Um, if, of course, as I never understood why people want to know everything about someone. I think, um, I think in my case, people want to know like what I do for a living and things like that because they see me with all this shiny new hardware and they're thinking, damn, this guy must be rich or something. No, I'm literally doing a normal 40 hour a week job, which pays enough to allow me to save up and invest some of the money into hardware for my channel. That's literally all it is. I mean, like I'm still fairly young, so I don't like have like a family to feed. I don't have like a wife and kid or anything. So my outgoings are quite minimal. For someone that's got like a mortgage, someone that's got like kids and all of that stuff. Yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna need a, a really, really good job, but you're gonna to support your family and also be able to like spend all the money that I do on hardware, but my outgoings are quite consolidated to say the least. So it's not that I'm rich because I definitely am not rich. It's just that um, basically all the money I get is for me. Put it that way. That's the simplest way I can say it. Um, Smaxi says, which religion? Um, my family, part, some of my family's Christian, some of my family's Muslim. Me personally, I was like, raised in a Christian household, but I am i wouldn't say I take religion very, very seriously because, you know, I'm not going to get into it on this channel. I do have my views about things. I, I would like to talk about it, but I just don't think a gaming channel is the right place because one, I don't want to offend anybody. Two, it's not the place. And, um, and I know how, you know, deeply people feel about these things. So I'd rather not talk about it too much on on this channel it's just like politics i'm into politics as well i care about what's going on in my country but you know i don't really want to talk about it on a gaming channel maybe maybe i should just start using my discord more if you want to talk about things like that i don't mind i guess i could do it on my discord but i don't really use discord so yeah there's that as well all right i'm going to try and explore this cave properly now see if there's actually any loot in here Game is really, really good looking though. Look at all of this. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. What is this? It's like, uh, like, two million fireflies. Crazy. Doesn't seem like there's any enemies in here. The only problem with this is, um, because the demo seems to be so small. Everywhere you go, it seems to be telling you that you've got five seconds to return to your team, so it's kind of counterproductive. You know, you can exit free play on the map. I didn't know that. But let me just explore a little more, and then once I do that, I'll ex exit the free play and I'll do like a proper mission. <laughs> I got over out I got outnumbered very very fast. So yeah, now would be a good time 
to probably uh, exit free play and start doing some missions. Uh, which monitor do I use for this setup? If you go to my channel, if you go to my last video before this, you'll see my actual gaming setup. And in that video, I explain it all of the hardware that I'm using. And um, you can see exactly what I'm using. So you should go and check it out if you're interested and just come back to the stream after that. Because I can't remember exactly the model numbers of all of the stuff I use. Because they're so long and complicated. Yeah, so I have exited free play now. So I'm going to do a mission now and see how it goes. I'm going to look into upgrading my javelin as well. My my javelin just is weak as hell. Literally got like the base gun, base armor. I seem to be dying very, very quickly. So surely there must be something I can do to upgrade. Come on. Well, now I can skip this, but I actually want to know what I've been, what I earned. So I've unlocked a new javelin. That's interesting. Let me, let me check it out. In Fort Fort Tyrus, a selection is available to choose from the currently locked core javelins, Colossus, Storm, and Interceptor. Okay. So I can actually change my javelin. It's interesting. I might try the, the Interceptor. That looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a new gun, pistol. I'm just salvaging all these parts, whatever that means. I definitely want to try out a new javelin, so if I can change one, I will do that. And hopefully I can upgrade it as well. So they've put a cap on how far you can progress on the demo. Um, how do you change your javelin? wonder how. Let's speak to somebody. If it isn't my favorite freelancer, I hear you've been busy. I try. You got Matthias back safe and sound. That's a three for one save right there. I had a good feeling about you ever since you turned up. Keep proving me right, okay? The fort's home. I've got to look out for it. No argument here. It's good you settled in. Not everyone does. And I'm guessing Fort Tarsus wasn't in your plans before. Well, the heart of rage. I didn't know what would happen then or where I'd land after. Turns out it was here. Happy you stuck around? Yeah, not sure what I expected, but this place grows on you. I wasn't meant to be here myself. I was on a strider out of Heliost, supposed to end up in Antium. What happened? Cataclysm. The sky turned yellow, ground changed under us. The survivors were brought here. You never got to Antium? Didn't have the means to try again at the time, and now I got good work, had a kid. The fort's home. Glad you feel the same. When you're here, anyway. Which reminds me, I should run checking your javelin before you're off again. Thanks, Zoe. I'll see you around. Okay. She can't help me do anything. Have a look at the map. See what we actually have. Vanity store, so that's obviously... You start your expedition there, there's the forge. I think the forge is where you do all your customization. So I'm gonna go to the forge. Wherever that is.
So it's over here. Oh, it's literally around here somewhere. This is the forge, but what can I do? Oh, you do it here. So clunky. To begin the demos, there will turn the freelancer you first javelin arranges balance between offensive and defense to keep playing to unlock additional javelins. Okay, let's see what other javelins are available. So I can use the interceptor now. Hold enter to unlock. The Dominion is on the move, and this javelin will enhance your quick strike capabilities. It's evident that your combat skills are improving. Thanks. The interceptor is not for rookies. That's why we waited to introduce it to you. <coughs> so agents could get in quick and get out quicker. This javelin is more agile than anything you've experienced. Sounds deadly. It is, especially when you consider its advanced weaponry. Our agents have found its stealth abilities invaluable in delicate situations. But be careful. Cash, cash. <coughs> at a price. cash Town up. Channel says, love your videos, bro. Thanks for that. accomplished with the interceptor. Yeah, so Interceptor sounds interesting. I'll try that out. Now here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. So this is where you can like... Let's get started. Upgrade. I actually want to change the javelin completely. Anyway, let's just uh, see what weapons I've got available. So you can like craft a new weapon or something. There's loads of tutorials. I'd rather not do all of this stuff now. I've already bore you guys, but uh, this is obviously where you customize your stuff. It's interesting. Let me just disable my OSD. It is in the way. So you can choose different grenades. We've got frag grenade, inferno grenade. Cross grenade, they've all got different stats. I'll go with the Inferno grenade. Seems to provide a bit more damage. Support gear. So I have a bulk walk point on common support gear. So I can use that. And also... Armor reinforcement. That sounds like something I need. I've been dying quite a lot lately. So that's pretty much all I can do. You can do the appearance as well, I guess. Probably not in the demo, but something you can do in the full game. So you can give yourself a bit of a personal touch. <clears throat> okay, so here's the interceptor. Let's see how this goes. So this time guys I'm actually going to do a mission so you guys can actually have a look at what the game's actually like. So it's called Inverse Functions. Start the expedition shall we. See Dash Jad Hay says this game is boring man, continue Resident Evil 2 from yesterday. Yeah, I'll do that a bit later. I did promise I would do that stream. So I'll play Resident Evil probably a, a little later on this evening, but I do want to play this for a little while at least just to get get a feel for it. And um try and make my mind up about it, but 
you know, right now I don't I think don't think I understand enough about the game to make a complete decision. It definitely um got a few issues with it at the moment, but uh it's not game breaking, so I'm gonna continue playing for a while. So I'm in my team. Let's go and do this mission. This gun is shockingly weak, but more than more than likely that's not the primary attack method of this this javelin. It's a lot quicker than the ranger though. It's a lot more agile as well. Aftermath 23 says, what up? I'm good, man. Good. Just trying to take these things out. Yeah, so you got to stick with your team. If you don't stick with your team, you end up having getting teleported to next to them. So I should just focus on the mission, really. in the area must have moved in recently better do something about them they'll get in the way of your investigation okay. <clears throat> the interceptor fights like uh some kind of ninja or something So when you fight as a team, it's obviously a lot easier, as you can see. Interceptor's ultimates like I'm gonna save it for a boss or something, but I'm curious to see. Some up here as well. But the intercept has got really, really strong melee, it seems. Let's look at that combo. We're slicing for it like anything. It's got like um, two shuriken on it as well. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the... Let's wait for my shield to power up before I start fighting again. Looks like we've cleared out the scorpions. That'll make it easier to continue the investigation. Those are not normal remains. Looks like some kind of goo. Blood. It doesn't look like blood to me. Decomposition? Too quick. Unlikely. Perhaps the metaphor. Side effect of division? Let's get some samples. Agreed. Okay, so we've got to collect these samples. I like the, this interceptor javelin feels pretty nice though. Really like that agile and nimble. Really gross. Bring 
the samples to Aruna Call. Yes, our discussions have led to a hypothesis that the split... It warped reality. There are side effects. Aruna Call specializes in that. She's on expedition helping the Sentinels. On it. Yeah, like this game's got like this built-in motion blur even when you disable it. It's a bit weird. So my advice is, yeah, definitely disable it on this game. And the interceptor is fast as well. Seems to be a bit faster than the others. Raider 0001 says DirectX 9 game pretty much, no tessellation. <laughs> Come on, man, give it a bit more credit than that. Looks way better than any DirectX 9 game I know. Um, if, of course, says you need to disable post effects in order to completely disable motion blur. Um, the amount of motion blur that's on display at the moment, I'm actually happy to be, I'm actually happy with. Dominion soldiers dissolving is bad news. Relax. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. So you're just gonna sit around. Where are you going? What's happening? This argument wait until I get back to the fort. Sumner's left. He just got up and left. Left the lab? I don't know. Just find a route of call. We'll deal with this back here. I wonder what these guys are fighting. Yeah, the humor is like over a bit overdone, to be honest. I understand what you're saying there. Not the best. I love the way you can fly everywhere though, that is cool. One thing I will say about this game, the flying is awesome. The Sentinels are under attack from Scars, they're going to need your help. Let's wreck everyone, quick time. Am I coming this? Using my ultimate for anyone that's wondering. It's just like you're in this crazy berserk mode. So I cut down quite a lot of these guys very quickly. Behind this rock for a minute, let's get some health back. Where the hell did this guy come from? Oh, it's, it's all about flanking these guys and getting behind them. Good job, guys. Uh, looks barely proper for this day in 1440p. Who's shooting at us? Oh, it's this guy. What the hell is he doing? It's 
uh, the interceptor seems to be a little faster than all the rest of the javelins. Whoa. Obviously, I didn't jump high enough. More enemies. let my health feel up for a bit. Use my ultimate. that one down. What is this guy shooting at? Man? There's no enemies left. Uh, the Guardian says, like what the game did, you get less than 50 FPS in. And how is this uncomfortable? Less than 30 FPS is uncomfortable already. I'd say anything above it's alright. Fair enough. Guy trying to shoot her for us, like so dumb. You mentioned kidnapping sounds like bad news. We know what this Iskari looks like. The sentinel said it was huge and dangerous. Yeah, I do have G Sync, I've disabled it just in case it was capping the FPS. I'm not too sure why the FPS is capped at 60. It is for some reason, even though I've got V Sync disabled. Anyway, so that's pretty much the mission complete now. Okay, so where are we going? We're going down there. There's some like crazy ass boss down there. All right, the fight's on. Let's do it. This thing's strong. Come on, someone help me. So when you're in the team, the respawn works a little different. I think one if there's one person alive, um, you just basically stay in this situation until everyone dies or someone comes and helps you. I'm looking around for my teammates. I don't see anyone alive, but there's that one guy over there. I wonder if he'll come and help. He's too busy just killing everyone else, so... Yeah, I'm more than likely going to have to wait until someone helps me or someone else dies. With the size of that boss, 
I don't think they're gonna get anywhere near me anytime soon. I don't blame them for not trying to come and help me. This area is real, way too hot right now. Um, yes, this is 4K Spencer Tahan. So that's why it's costing the FPS isn't as high as you'd imagine it to be. So this guy is trying to help me. Fair play to him. Finally, someone help me. Gotta be joking. Just a ridiculous amount of grenades and stuff being thrown down. I haven't seen any game ready drivers from NVIDIA or anything like that, so uh, well, things could get better. Come on, guys, you wanna help me out or what, man? There's two of you. Finally, someone wants to help. Okay. Oh, my time. Now, this ultimate is sick, though. The javelin's ultimate. I mean, the interceptor's ultimate is just crazy. It's like just crazy berserk mode. You're just literally cutting everything. to stay out of range. Whoa. Man, it's dangerous over there. Took him down though. Now we just got to take down this guy. Wait, it's just ridiculously strong. Let me try and return the favor and help that guy. After all, he did help me. Whoa. I'm sticking with these guys. Kill this thing. And that boss is crazy strong, man. I don't even know where to go at this point. He's just like, wherever side we go, it's just. We're just getting attacked ridiculously relentlessly. trying to cut this thing up, but I don't want to stay there too long. Whoa, that took a lot of damage. Whoa. 
Um, wait, right, and I got cut down. Come on. Someone come and save me. I may have to just stay with my team. They seem to have got a good formula. They just, like, uh, stay together. And then they, they always seem to survive. Alright, so I've got my ultimate now. Come on, cut god. Cut this one to bits. I did a ridiculous amount of damage, so my team has to thank me for that. Oh, I need a moment to heal, so I'm taking way too much damage. Both of us got our asses kicked. We got like one guy remaining. And he needs to kind of come and revive us, man. Like Sharpish as well. He survived though. So like, we're lucky. chill down here for a bit because <laughs> it's just far too dangerous up there save as Abby says I'm back bro I need to go and help my teammate oh no I might be the last one alive so I can't die I need to uh yeah I think I am the last one alive you know but I need to uh try and survive I feel a little bit pressured now, now that everything's all on me to survive, and I don't even think I'm gonna. I don't even think I'm gonna survive, to be honest. There's like a ridiculous amount of these guys up here. Whoa. Right, let me try and. Uh... That's one of my boys. Oh man, I tried to get over there to help and we I just got killed, so sorry guys. No, squad defeated, we have to try again. Literally I tried to get over there to help, but like that boss thing just did some weird beam thing and I couldn't avoid it. So no, that sucked. Let's try again. Oh, let's just work as a team better this time. I'm just going to cut all of these guys up. There's nothing they can really do. When I start using my melee, there really is nothing they can do.
get into it. She's my ultimate now. Slicing this thing to ribbons. focus on this boss guys this guy is literally just standing right in front of it shooting it <laughs> he's a legend oh man we heal up for a bit first and I'm gonna help these guys Revive one of my teammates. To revive the other one now. Oh, come on, man. I almost got him back and then I got killed, so I don't know if someone's going to try and help me. So yeah, part of the squad at the moment, so I have to wait until someone um, comes and revives me. So he's smart, he just activates his shield and then uh, try to try to revive me, but it didn't quite work out. Okay, he did save me at the expense of himself, so I do need to go back and return the favor. I just need to make sure I'm in a position where I can actually help rather than get myself killed. So let's try and fight our way down there. There is a lot of enemies, man. Oh, man, you're trying to burn me to a crisp. Oh, I'm really low on health right now. I feel like a coward. I've got to literally run away and come back. Let's fuck. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. Like, literally, as soon as you go around a corner, um, you just get blasted by some crazy ass powerful attack. What is that stuck behind him? I want to stick with this guy. I want to use my ultimate to clear a path. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? I tried to help my teammate and uh, I just get hit with the, the most powerful attacks that they could probably make. Right, so I was able to help. Time for the ultimate now. I'm not messing about, I want to cut most of these guys down there. Cut through these guys. Oh, 
boss. Well, get your ass out of it. Get out of it, man. Keep getting yourself killed. We need to attack this boss, but we're not doing a good job of it. Everywhere you go, you get attacked. Literally nowhere is safe. There you go, turn it back on me. Need something to distract him so I can go. Oh. Got some crazy ass shields, man, it's really strong. Keep respawning in, there's no end to them. Yep, that's what usually happens. I just get bombarded until I can't even move. I mean, what is this guy is meant to be on our team is literally just shooting on the floor. I mean, you're just a waste of space at this point. I tried to help, but as you can see, I almost got my ass kicked for doing so. Oh. Man, this is so stressful. I think the 4790K, if anything faster than the Vega 64, is going to bottleneck it, to be honest. Especially if you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p, something like that. You should really consider upgrading to something like Cannon Lake. Uh, not Cannon Lake, I mean, go go with the Coffee Lake or go with the Ryzen, um, Ryzen Plus. 2700X or something like that, but 4790K, something faster than uh, Vega 64, then you may have some issues. Not massive issues, but you're not going to get the best out of it in my opinion, which is why my other system with the Vega 64 I upgraded that to the i7-8700K. Come on man, this guy needs to stay alive now. I'm sick and tired of healing him. I know he's trying to kill the boss to be fair, but you got to do better. Alright, time to get all the glory. That's it. It's got our trouble dealt with. Good work. Head back to the fort and see if Aruna discovered anything about those samples. Finally, that boss was hard as hell, man. But well, we did it, guys. So, head back to the fort, huh? LED Gaming says, I run 7700K with my 2080 Ti most of the time, and it's okay. Yeah, 7700K has got more than enough instructions per cycle to keep up with a 20 um rtx 2080 ti but then again um there may be some scenarios where um cpu overhead may be an issue 64 player maps on battlefield 5 could be an issue but you know generally it's definitely fast enough to do the job
intercept is okay, but I kind of like the ranger a little bit better. I might try out the Colossus. That might be interesting. I'll turn, I'll turn Twain Grand. That's such a mad name to say. Want to reduce cost of upgrading only a new Metro Dying Light and modded Skyrim at 1440p? Um, I'm not sure about the question. I want to reduce the cost of upgrading only a new Metro Dying Light and modded Skyrim. So you want a system that will be able to play those? Should be able to get away with a GTX 1080. Something like that should be fine. What is the significance of salvaging? I don't get it. Is it like you can keep it or you can just break it down into parts? Is that how it works? Whatever, I'm just going to collect everything. Yeah, you just get like parts. Nah, that's all right, man. Don't worry about it. So let's go back to the main guy, see what he says. you brought me. What were they? Well, they used to be Dominion. I thought it might be something like that. Reality decay is not pretty. Reality decay? When a shaper instrument taps into the anthem, it affects reality, and reality is a lot less stable than you think it is. One incorrect variable and the entire equation collapses. Reality collapses. These Dominion, whatever happened to them, altered their nature, the fundamentals of their existence. But it wasn't right. Something wasn't right. They couldn't last. What's this got to do with Matthias? Whatever happened to these Dominion happened to Matthias, too. You're not saying... The manifold affected him. It means he... They are unstable and in real danger. I gotta go. God, I could really use a soothing cup of tea. Yeah, that sounds about right, to be honest. I could use a cup of tea right now. Might even put one on, to be honest. Alright, let's continue with the storyline. Alert uh, Matisse, Matisse, Matthias, to the danger variant. So, I'm just going to go and talk to the main character. You're back. That is, that is you, isn't it? I can't quite focus my eyeballs where's Sumner and where's the manifold he was impatient he wanted to pursue his own theory he took it and pushed me not hard but it hurt my feelings what did Aruna say the Dominion soldiers were affected by some kind of reality decay as a result of their divide reality shifting in unintended ways as a result they were wobbly jelly that didn't quite set oh that explains why I'm feeling oddly porous. It's, uh, it's not a great feeling. And none of my limbs work right. We need Sumner back. And the manifold. The generator of the effect must be part of the solution. Do you know where he went? He talked about needing a drink. Maybe the bar? It's a start. How long do I have? I smell burnt toast. Not long. Please hurry. What is this guy on about? He's just talking a bunch of rubbish.
Okay, so we're looking for this guy at the bar. Where is he? I don't see Sumner anywhere, but there's Aruna. Maybe she's seen him. You should ask. Ah, freelancer. Let me guess. Looking for Matthias? Yes, one of them. He wanted a drink, but wasn't allowed in. He's been banned from the premises for months. Great. So he's gone now. I tried to talk to him about the samples you found, but he didn't seem interested. He was always easily distracted, but never... rude. It was odd. It's complicated. That one, Sumner, appears to be the abrasive side of Matthias. We should find him. I don't know how quickly the reality decay could set in. Got it. What now? I don't see Sumner anywhere. He might still have his link on him. Connect us. I can sense the link, but I can't seem to make the connection. But I can track him. Got him. He's by the forge. Okay, forge it is. Can't seem to run in this part of the game. <clears throat> when you said Sumner was here, I don't see him. No? Hmm. Let me check the forge records. Ah, looks like he took a javelin. Can he do that? Can he even operate one? Not well, I imagine. He has likely left the fort by now. You should go after him when you can, in case of trouble. Alright, let's go after this crazy guy. Getting used to this javelin now, I'm starting to starting to warm to the the interceptor. What is it with these crazy long loading times? On console, it's going to be even worse because I've got a pretty fast SSD. Okay, finally we've loaded up. Do you see it? Yes, going after him. Okay. Have you found Sumner? He left the fort. I'm trying to get to him. Hurry. That has lost the ability to perceive time and space normally. What? It's complicated. Go as fast as I can. Looks like he stopped. You should be
What the hell was that? Oh, these things, they're really, really strong. Watch my health, I'm gonna get killed any moment now. Literally does nothing against them. Oh, what is that? Uh, he was easy enough to take down. these sentinels. Get the hell out of the way, man. Time to cut down some enemies. Take a seat off in such an area. Yes, it's me. Bloody scars. I knew I couldn't take them and there was a crack in the rock. And you couldn't fit into it while wearing a javelin. Wait. I think this passage leads me to the room I was looking for. I'll keep going. Stay where you are. I can handle myself and I'm already here. There'll be another entrance. Be inside. My javelin is slightly faster than them, so I should be able to overtake these guys. Trapped underground somewhere. How's Manny? None of his major organs have liquefied. Yeah. Major or organs? What about the non-major organs? Uh, just bring back the manifold and summer as soon as you can. <laughs> I mean, that was a little bit funny. Because he just makes you think, what could you be talking about? Testicles, possibly. Look, I'm going to stay with my team, because if I don't, I'll end up getting teleported anyway. I think we found the cave network that Sumner's in. Are you sure? No. I'm a cypher, not some kind of... going on down there. Huh? The interceptor's actually got a triple jump. I'll bear that in mind. I'm sensing some strange 
strange energy. What's down there? I don't know, but Sumner has a manifold with him. He came here for a reason. Fighting. The hell was that thing? That's some kind of shadow. Oh, frozen. Great. The shield abilities weren't really useful though. What the hell are you even shooting at? What can I say? Okay, so far. I must be the last of them. Oh, so now we've got a boss to fight. Shooting me. It's this thing. Whatever that thing is, it can just attack from any angle. Um, Sean Madison says, Do you think the Ready on 7 will be worth the money? I hope so, because I do intend to buy one next week, so we'll see. This is serious. Special, it just wasn't quite working. 
Whoa. <laughs> How was that? What's up, man? Whoa. Yeah, I can see how you died because there's not an easy attack to stay out of the way of. Are you meant to kill this thing? It's just like solid. Because of the fire, you just literally instantly overheat so you can't fly. Interesting boss. So we should just focus at one at a time. I'm going after this one. My attacks are literally doing zero. So. That seems to hurt a little bit. We should use projectile attacks on this guy. the second one. Right, some attack. Man, this boss is serious. Shoot the arms when it glows. Okay, I'll try that out. Um, Sean Madison says, I'm thinking of buying one. You think they will be in stock on release? Um, I'm I'm in the UK. Usually, um, they are. We usually get all the cards on the release date. So I'm hoping that they are, it is, because I do intend to buy one on release date. My attacks are just not that effective. Sending that all for me. No time to waste. We need to get back to the others. Why is that so alarmed? What happened? Alright, I've got one down. One more now. some dumbasses on our team.
Yay, just another long loading screen. Too many of these. Expedition complete. Yes, that was okay, I guess. Wasn't the most interesting mission. Skip all of this. This is a no. Um, it says, did you ditch your ultra wide? No, the ultra wide's gonna be with the Radeon 7. It's in the other room. So, like, I'm just letting my brother use it. I still own it, but I'm just uh, letting him borrow it for now. Alright, so let's return to this, my fire sky. I think I'll leave it there and um, pick this up a little later. I've got a few things I need to do, so let's just quickly visit this guy first while we fight in the, in the stream. Alright guys, I want to leave it there. I'm not too sure what's going on with the game. Seems like it's just not responding. So I'll call it <laughs> probably the best time to leave it. So thanks for watching guys. I'll pick this up at a later date. Probably come back with some Resident Evil remake rather than this. And then I'll play this probably 